Today is Monday of Holy Week, and Holy Week is a liminal space, a time between what was and what's next. Frankly, I'm tired of liminal space. The season of Lent is liminal space. Our congregation is in the midst of liminal space. Our culture and our world are locked in this supremely strange and stressful time as we struggle together to break the spread of this virus. It's liminal space all the way down. All the more important then, I think, to reflect on what faithfulness looks like in the midst of all this chaos and uncertainty. So our reading is from Isaiah 42. Isaiah 42 is the first of the so-called servant songs in Isaiah, four poems that are written about the servant of the Lord. Here and in the other servant songs, we find a portrait of the servant of the Lord as someone who is humble rather than arrogant, who listens rather than commands, who works to sustain the weary and suffers with those who are suffering. Quote, he will not cry out or lift up his voice or make it heard in the street. A bruised reed he will not break and a dimly burning wick he will not quench. Christians have long seen in this portrait the person of Jesus, but we're also called to look for these servants far and wide and to be servants of the Lord ourselves. How many servants of the Lord have we seen at work during these difficult days? How many healthcare workers and first responders and those who support them have acted with courage and compassion? How many neighbors and friends have reached out to one another? while still practicing social distancing. How might our leaders learn from the servant of the Lord in Isaiah? You know, we often think it is the powerful who move history, but maybe it's the servants of the Lord who actually change the world in enduring ways. A soft-spoken man named Mahatma Gandhi overthrows the British Empire in India without firing a shot. A prisoner named Nelson Mandela is set free and overturns the powers of apartheid in South Africa. An unassuming woman named Rosa Parks refuses to move to the back of the bus and a whole system of segregation begins to collapse. A black Baptist preacher named Martin Luther King Jr. dreams of a day when his children will have the freedoms and opportunities promised to every child and his inspiration and courage change hearts and change laws in the United States. Servants of the Lord, each and every one of them. Now maybe we won't change the world in such dramatic ways, but how can we be servants of the Lord in these dark and difficult days? How might we practice gentleness and kindness and hope and compassion? How might we be a light to those around us? Those are questions I invite you to reflect on on this Holy Monday. Isaiah is not only a call to action, but also an invitation to keep heart, to hold close to God. It is a song of assurance, a word for the weary. Your suffering is not outside of divine redemption. A new day is on the way. You are not alone. Here in the midst of all this liminal space, there may be no more important word than that. Thanks be to God. Amen.